Good morning everyone, I'm George, Digital Consultant at Digital CDL, and I welcome you to this third lesson of the course. When discussing an organization, we are addressing a multifaceted amalgamation of elements and variables which, collectively, guide the conduct and activities of resources. A pertinent reference model conducive to encapsulating essential organizational variables is illustrated in the figure. This model delineates five categories of organizational variables, organizational capabilities, structural configuration, operational processes, human resources administration, and organizational conduct. These facets, while intensely intertwined, are conceptually disparate, occasionally representing different disciplinary realms. Organizational capabilities serve as the cornerstone for organizational structuring and are pivotal in linking the organization with the external environment. These capabilities encompass the exclusive and unparalleled blend of aptitudes, procedures, human and technological resources that empower a company to carve a niche in the marketplace. They mirror corporate strategies and are the pivotal elements that allow a company to gain a competitive edge, hence adding value. A firm, for instance, may cultivate reliability, innovation, or agility as an organizational capability, each necessitating diverse aptitudes. Reflecting on IBM historical strategic shifts illustrates the evolution of competencies from manufacturing to architectural and software design, and ultimately to service delivery capabilities. Designing an organization necessitates aligning organizational choices with fostering desired organizational capabilities. Structural organization pertains to the distribution and coordination of tasks and responsibilities amongst individuals and units within the organization, defining roles, specialization levels, and consolidation criteria. Crafting the structure necessitates outlining roles and responsibilities for every organizational segment. Reporting lines, decision-making centralization or decentralization, and power dynamics are pivotal elements. These structural decisions shape the company's organizational blueprint, typically depicted by the organizational chart. Business processes entail the synchronized design and oversight of tasks, information, and decision-making to achieve specified outcomes. For instance, responding to a customer's technical assistance request necessitates coordinated design and management of necessary activities and information to guarantee prompt and effective solutions. Organizational design focused on business processes involves aligning activities based on principles and technologies to optimize performance. Human resources management involves practices that align individual competencies, actions, and attitudes with their respective roles to contribute effectively to organizational success. It involves determining required skills and methods for their acquisition and enhancement. Recruitment, training, performance assessment, remuneration, and incentive practices are integral parts of human resources management. These practices must align with the legislative framework of the operational jurisdiction and manage industrial relations effectively. Organizational behaviors, although not a design element per se, emanate from the design, representing individual interactions and actions within the established constraints. For example, decentralized structures tend to foster autonomy and responsibility, whereas rigid procedures might hinder them. The behaviors significantly impact organizational outcomes and, while challenging to engineer objectively, must be considered in organizational understanding and description to underscore their influence on individual behaviors within structural, procedural, and human resource management choices. Discussing organizational behaviors involves examining motivational factors, team dynamics, decision-making processes, and leadership. These elements are fundamental in studying how behaviors impact organizational decisions and how leadership can mold individual and group actions within the organization. Leadership is crucial in shaping and directing behaviors to align with the organizational vision and objectives. Thanks for watching. See you next week for lesson 4.